LifeWave. Today, this global force for good spans 100 countries with hundreds of thousands of delighted fans. With offices in the U.S., Ireland, and Taiwan, LifeWave has over 30,000 square feet of manufacturing space and supports customers in over 20 languages. With a solid commitment to research and continued exposure in the news media worldwide, the LifeWave brand is a recognized force in the health and wellness movement. World-class athletes in every sport use and endorse LifeWave technology as a means of achieving peak performance without the use of drugs or stimulants. Health advocates like Suzanne Summers and everyday people from all walks of life have found LifeWave vital to enjoying improved energy, better sleep, reduced pain, and more youthful vibrancy. Where did it all begin? I remember when I was eight years old, my parents took me down to the workshop of Thomas Edison. Uh, so when I got home that afternoon, I told my father that I wanted to be an inventor when I grew up. And uh, my dad said to me, well, you know, there's no such job. You, you can't be an inventor. And I said, well, why not? He said, well, you, you just can't. And, uh, you know, that's a joke that we have between the two of us that we still laugh about to this day. LifeWave founder and CEO David Schmidt began his career in medical device design and manufacturing. In 1996, he moved to Atlanta, where he returned to his passion for inventing by joining an inventors club, winning numerous awards, and eventually forming a company based on one of his inventions. One day I was giving a presentation for a government contractor, and uh, they invited me to be part of a design team for one of the Navy's next generation mini subs. So uh, we were trying to find a way to keep people alive longer, and I thought, well, I personally object to this whole idea of using caffeine and stimulants to stay awake, so maybe there's a new way that we could approach this. Uh, so I worked on this for several years and uh, developed the LifeWave prototypes. The problem was that we had just gone through 9-11 uh, and uh, the U.S. military was interested in, in weapons, not survival equipment. And uh, it, it normally takes over seven years to get a new product. Uh, through the Navy. So I decided, well, I know that consumers are really going to love a technology that improves energy uh, without having to use stimulants. So uh, that's why I decided to go to the public with it. And with those patch prototypes, David found his calling. And by summer of 2002, he launched the LifeWave company. That first year of LifeWave was pretty rough. Uh, I, I remember I didn't get a lot of sleep. Uh, a very typical day for me was getting up at six in the morning uh, going about my day doing work, uh, phoning acupuncturists, medical doctors, athletes, personal trainers, uh, working all day doing that, and then uh, getting up late at night to make patches because we didn't have a patch manufacturing facility. And uh, along the, the way, I uh, met one person that was interested in investing money, and he said, well, you know, I, I don't really know much about science or medicine. Could I have a medical doctor review this? And uh, I said, sure. And as it turned out, uh, that was Dr. Steve Haltywanger. I spent about four hours or longer interviewing him and then came back a few days later and talked to him again. And so we had about a six hours worth of conversation over a few days. Every question I asked, he answered. And I asked him very detailed scientific questions. So I realized this man actually knew what he was talking about. So I was very impressed and I wrote a paper that was my way of explaining uh, to the technology from more of a biological point of view. And I sent this paper to a number of friends uh, that were in medicine to get a review. And one of them was Dr. Carl Merritt out in California. And he shared it with Coach Richard Quick at Stanford. He was a coach of the Stanford women's swim team. So one day, I'm sitting in my home office uh, in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, and uh, I get a call and the voice at the other end of the phone says, uh, David, this is Richard Quick. A and uh, then he tells me that he's been using uh, the LifeWave patches uh, in conjunction with Dr. Merritt. And uh, he found that uh, during the first three weeks of using the patches with his athletes, that uh, six out of the eight swimmers broke their personal lifetime best in uh, their event. So this was absolutely huge. This was one of the breaks that I had been looking for. That which seems extraordinary today will be commonplace in the future. If something can be done in 20 or 30 years in the future, why can't we do it today? 
That's what David Schmidt has done with LifeWay. We got an opportunity to have our product on uh, Olympic athletes. Uh, we got to have world exposure of the technology uh, by having the athletes uh, compete in the Olympic Games and in the Olympic trials. And uh, I am very grateful to Coach Quick for that opportunity. At the Olympic trials in 2004, a scandal erupted. The Stanford swimmers were doing so well that some of the other coaches accused them of using performance-enhancing drugs in the patches. I met before the U.S. Olympic Committee and had to explain uh, how the patches worked. They took the patches down to UCLA Microanalytical Lab, had the patches examined, and uh, found out there weren't any drugs in them. Uh, the athletes drug tested negative, uh, so they were completely clean. And we started to make national headlines because people wanted to know what were these patches and uh, why were the Stanford women's swim team using them and doing so well with them. This is a product that will really help people. It'll help people have more energy. It'll help them focus better so they can be more successful in whatever their endeavors are. I had looked into many ways of marketing the patches, including infomercial marketing, uh, doing it at retail, and ultimately I settled on network marketing for a lot of really great reasons. Our first month in business as a network marketing company was November of 2004, and if, if you can imagine the circumstances, we started off with a thousand distributors and five hundred thousand dollars in sales that very first month. It, it was a remarkable achievement, and we went up from there. This immediate growth prompted the need for a skilled LifeWave management team. So I thought, you know, if we really want to become a successful company, we need someone with experience. We need someone that's been in this position before. And uh, my, my prayers were answered in November of 2005 when Mike Collins came on board. Enter Mike Collins, formerly of Procter & Gamble and Vice President of PepsiCo. While I was introduced to David Schmidt and LifeWave by a mutual friend who happened to be a LifeWave distributor, and he gave me some energy enhancer patches to try. I had a great response to it, something I had never felt before, a clarity of mind and sense of well-being. So when David and I got together and talked it over, I said to him, David, please, just, I don't care what position you have in mind, put me in the batter's box and let me start swinging, because this is just fantastic. As the core business grew throughout the U.S. and Canada, the wisdom of particular founding sales leaders proved pivotal. So I went back to a lot of these people that I had met along the way. Uh, George Hoagland, David Jumper, John Chance, Chuck Michael. And uh, we started to form a United States advisory board, a North American advisory board. And uh, these leaders just did a tremendous job uh, in that first year supporting growth and uh, I really owe them a lot for that. At the end of 2005, LifeWave hit $17 million in sales and held a national conference featuring 40 speakers. Professional and Olympic athletes talked about using LifeWave patches to become the best in the world. Other presenters included medical doctors, acupuncturists, naturopaths, scientists, even world-famous biophysicist Beverly Rubick, also known as the mother of energy medicine. I'm a biophysicist. I've traveled the world looking for maverick wellness products that make a difference in people's lives. And it came to my attention that there was this LifeWave Energy Patch. The first thing I wanted to do as a biophysicist was to test them on the human energy field. And that is the state of the art now in biophysics, that this field is considered to be the bottom line regulator of our processes. Here's an example of the data. The red indicates points that were tested that are really unbalanced. The yellow are points that are tolerable within normal, but not quite normal. And the green, of course, are the most normal. Some five meridians are grossly unbalanced. And after wearing the LifeWave patches, only one point is unbalanced. That's an impressive result, especially after immediately placing on the patches. There is an immediate autonomic nervous system response within five minutes. This is what happens when we apply the patches. As you see, there's a pretty hot looking back to the left, and there's a patch distinctly sitting right in the middle of that spine. It has a cooling effect on the, on the autonomic nervous system. Statistically speaking there, we can prove 
uh, that energy production is enhanced fairly dramatically uh, by these patches. I've been doing this kind of testing now for almost eight years and I can tell you, you don't see these kind of results. We tested the LifeWay product and we found that it made a significant change within 10 seconds in the cytoskeleton. And let me tell you, that is profound. There are a lot of products out there, folks, but there are very few companies who support their products with quality science. Having clinical studies is uh, a matter of ethics. Uh, you have to know what effects your products are going to have on people before they actually use them. And it's a legal requirement. The government wants to see clinical studies, scientific proof that substantiate your claims. We look for independent researchers. We look for universities that can study our technology. We're, 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 we're driven to prove the benefits of this technology uh, as well as to show how this technology can be used to help the help the people around the world. Through the power of networking, David was introduced to world-famous actress, best-selling author, and renowned health advocate, Suzanne Summers. She had such an extraordinary response to the technology that she immediately met with David to learn more. That first meeting was just absolutely extraordinary. And I would say the one thing that really impressed me about Suzanne was her level of scientific knowledge. It, I, I got questions from her that I don't get from some medical doctors. In 2006, the word about LifeWave continued to spread. When you're in a company where the, where the sales are growing that rapidly, what you find is that the systems that you had built uh, aren't going to be adequate because you're growing faster than you had planned to, to grow. But that was the challenge, so we had to respond to that and build the structure for the future. By 2008, Mike Collins and his team translated the website and marketing materials into several languages. Some key distribution leaders in France offered the company additional direction and commitment, and sales began to boom throughout Europe. In the United States, we had great success with our advisory board uh, from the very beginning of the company. When we found ourselves beginning in places like France and Italy, we knew that we were going to have to put together advisory boards of leaders. Our business in uh, France really started to take off and uh, a few months after that I was invited over to Paris to meet with a number of our leaders over there that had been very successful at marketing our products and uh, what followed was uh, a two or three hour meeting that, that really didn't go all that well. Uh, they didn't know what to think of me, I didn't know what to think of them, but I listened. I listened to what they were saying and, and what it was that they needed to be successful. The company started to implement their recommendations and uh, the market began to grow. You know, today, I would just tell you, I, I have uh, a debt of gratitude to every one of these leaders in Europe. They're wonderful human beings. The success of the French advisory board was quickly followed with advisory boards in other countries as well. Back in the U.S., Suzanne Summers interviewed David in her New York Times bestseller, Breakthrough. Suddenly, people were contacting Suzanne about the patches and contacting LifeWave because of Suzanne. That year, Inc. Magazine named LifeWave one of the fastest growing U.S. companies via the Inc. 5000 list, and by the next year, LifeWave was ranked even higher. All this time, sales were escalating in Europe, prompting a major investment in a new facility in Ireland. And that gave us a number of advantages. First of all, we're close to our market. Uh, we, we put in high-speed manufacturing equipment that will be able to keep up with the production needs for years to come. We opened up a customer service call center that handles many languages and a fulfillment center that can get product there within a day or two uh, to any customer in the EU. And all the way on the other side of the world, of course, sales were growing too. So there, uh, we decided to open up a company-owned office in Taipei, Taiwan. The office there is a fulfillment center and a customer service call center that handles uh, all the Chinese language business that we have in that part of the world. In November of 2009, LifeWave and Suzanne Summers held a Caribbean cruise, bringing distributors and speakers together from around the world and celebrating the five-year anniversary of the company with a flourish. Later the same year, Suzanne also invited David and LifeWave to be featured in her next book, Knockout. For the last 10 years, I have been involved and passionate about health. That really is all there is. 
And when I met David Schmidt of LifeWave five years ago, uh, there was such a connection from the very first time because our messages are synergistic. This is uh, an extraordinary new technology that everybody needs to know about. We form this tremendous friendship with Suzanne and her husband, and, and they are just remarkable people. Um, they are on the same mission that we are, which is to improve quality of life. And uh, I know that uh, the world is a better place because of LifeWave and because of Suzanne. So uh, a partnership made all the sense in the world. There is just not a finer representative or ambassador for a company like ours than Suzanne Summers, and she lives up to it every day. In 2010, LifeWave moved to bigger offices in San Diego. More languages were added to the website. The customer service staff was expanded and the commitment to scientific research was increased, including the creation of LifeWave's own clinical space for research. In November, LifeWave members gathered again and celebrated with a Mediterranean cruise, creating a fabulous event that spawned even more company enthusiasm and growth. The question simply became, what's next? We were at a party uh, that Suzanne Summers was holding. We had just been in her book knockout and we were meeting with uh, scientists from around the world. These are brilliant medical doctors uh, that are on the cutting edge of anti-aging medicine. And uh, we heard them talk about this recurring theme of stress and how stress is having an adverse effect on the body. And I remember going home that night and I read Knockout from uh, front to back and I called uh, Suzanne the following day and I said, you know what, I can design a patch for reducing stress. 14 months later, after extensive research, clinical trials, and focus groups, LifeWave's Eon was unveiled at a worldwide product launch on January 8, 2011. The careful preparation made this the most successful product launch ever for the company. The worldwide webcast had an audience of over 6,000. And since that time, what's happened is that number one, the momentum of the company has been unalterably changed. We, we have grown more rapidly and it's because of Eon. Number two, Eon has become the leading selling product that we have. And number three, you know, the way we measure success is that we've helped all that many more people on a personal level than we would have had we not had Eon. What was so personally rewarding for me was to see the tremendous benefits that people were getting from this product, like no other product before it. We're finding new ways every day to get to people, to get more of our products into more people's hands and to share with them the great news about what they do. Uh, it's nothing but great things to come for LifeWave. On the business side, we're going to continue our global expansion into new markets. And this is going to give our distributors more and more opportunities. But more importantly, this is about making a statement in the world that we can live in a world without suffering. We're on a mission to improve quality of life, whether or not it be to help those that are suffering in pain or to help people that just simply need more energy or new solutions in anti-aging, we're here to help. So come join LifeWave and make a difference in the world today. LifeWave, live long, live well.